Hello and welcome to another episode of Inspirational Corner. My name is Rose Okenda. Today we are joined by the head teacher of a special kind of school, Sweet Angels Special School. In this school, the children are either challenged mentally or physically or both. She joins us and I hope that you'll be inspired by the story of this amazing school. Okay, Caroline, when did Sweet uh, Angels uh, Special School begin? Uh, Sweet Angels Special School? began way back in 2009 uh, and this is how it started a parent who is a mother mm -hmm. of a special child mm -hmm. by the name audrey mm -hmm. who is now our school director mm -hmm. thought of this idea mm -hmm. and uh, she thought of any other child who could be out there and special mm -hmm. and no school like sweet angels mm -hmm. So she thought of beginning Sweet Angel Special School okay. in 2009. When you begin receiving children, yes. um, in what groups do you categorize them? Because mm. not all children with special needs are the same. Mm. The, the needs may vary, the challenges may vary. How do you group them? The Sweet Angel Special School is for the physically and mentally challenged. Mm -hmm. We have children who are also uh, multi-disabled that is the as uh, mental mm -hmm. at the same time physical when they come in uh, mental cases we group them like autism mm -hmm. we also have uh, spina bifida we have uh, learners with down syndrome mm -hmm. and when it comes to physical we have learners who have a condition like CP, that is cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. and we'll all have them here. Mm -hmm. When they come, we do an assessment, which leads us or directs us on how to group these learners. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about, it's not a normal school. Yeah. In a normal school, you'll have uh, children who are going to boarding and children yes. who are what we call day scholars. Yes. The children that you have here, do they board or do they come from home and uh, taken in the evening by their parents? All our learners are boarders. Mm -hmm. We prefer it that way. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you have a special child mm -hmm. and that child is a day scholar, mm -hmm. it becomes so hard for this child to adjust or to adapt mm -hmm. in one environment. Mm -hmm. So all our learners at Sweet Angel Special School are mm -hmm. boarders. Mm -hmm. They stay here. Mm -hmm. In the morning, they go to class. Mm -hmm. In the evening, they go back home. So mm -hmm. it's a home at the same time a school okay. for them. It's hard enough to be a parent. Yes. Parenting comes with a lot of challenges, but it's even harder when your child is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, physically challenged, mentally challenged, yes. etc., etc. Mm -hmm. When we talk about diet, yes, what is important mm -hmm. when uh, for you mm -hmm. as you're thinking about their diet? What is the place of uh, diet in their lives? Uh, diet plays a very important role mm -hmm. in their lives mm -hmm. because number one, we have to watch their their weight. Mm -hmm. We have those who are wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. And if we say that they will be eating like anything and everything, then their weight will also be a challenge to them. Okay. So apart from watching out on their uh, weight, we also have learners who have a challenge like the autism learners. These learners uh, without diet, they cannot settle in mm. class. Mm -hmm. They cannot concentrate even for one or two minutes. Mm -hmm. So it takes diet for these learners to sit in class, concentrate, and like some of the things that should not be given to our learners with autism mm. are like so sugary things mm -hmm. that take them so hyperactive okay. and also uh, like wheat mm -hmm. uh, they should not be allowed also to take so we balance their diet okay. so that they can adjust mm -hmm. and stay in class and concentrate let's talk about sugar yes because uh, sugar provides carbohydrates which is important so in yes. the place of sugar what do you use and why we do you use, use honey that? okay in place of sugar like in their porridge mm -hmm. we use honey mm -hmm. pure honey and it really helps them to calm down okay yeah let's talk about physical therapy yes which is important to some of the children you have here mm. uh, what do you do 
uh, therapy as a whole is a very important part for all learners, mm -hmm. whether physical or mental. Mm -hmm. Like for the physical, uh, our learners with physical challenges, they do physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. And the physiotherapy is so important mm -hmm. because it helps our learners to adjust. It helps them to grow. We've seen learners who have come with physical challenges mm -hmm. to Sweet Angels, and we've seen with the physiotherapy, they've mm -hmm. gone, they can now walk, mm -hmm. they can crawl, mm -hmm. and so it plays a role. Without the physiotherapy, mm -hmm. our learners may develop even secondary complications okay. because they'll be seated at one point, mm -hmm. and from that, they develop other issues. Mm -hmm. And for the learners who are uh, mental, they do occupational therapy. Okay. Occupational therapy trains them in every way round, mm -hmm. like ADLs, activities of daily living, mm -hmm. on how to do toileting, mm -hmm. feeding, grooming, and everything. Okay. We also have speech therapy for our learners uh, with no speech, yes. and it also helps them to improve mm -hmm. or their speech or in the development of speech. Okay, let's talk about challenges. In every institution, yeah. and I think as it's the same with Sweet Angels, mm -hmm. there are always challenges. What mm -hmm. are some of the challenges that you face as an institution? Uh, challenges that we face as an institution, number one, I'll say, uh, finan financial challenge mm -hmm. crowns it all. Mm -hmm no finances and you get you're not even moving mm -hmm. there are things that we would like to do mm -hmm. and because uh, we cannot reach or get to that mm -hmm. it becomes a challenge to mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. because uh, uh, in our classes we have to adapt everything in mm -hmm. our dormitories we have to ad to adapt everything mm -hmm. and without finances it becomes so hard so uh, even as we speak this yes. is this place is, you're not owning it you're renting it that is very true okay. this is a rental place every month we pay mm -hmm. and it's a challenge mm -hmm. on its own okay yeah okay let's talk about uh, attachments why yes. would you if there's a parent who's watching this and listening to you and they have a phys you know physically challenged child mentally mm -hmm. challenged child mm -hmm. You know what they want to do yes. is shelter their babies. Yes. They do not want to hand over their babies exactly. to people who probably they don't even know. Mm. How easy or hard is it for parents to bring their child for the first time here? It's not really easy. Mm. It's a process. It's a counseling process. Mm -hmm. We've had parents who come and after assessment, when we talk to them about this child coming mm -hmm. to Sweet Angels, mm -hmm. they start crying. Mm -hmm. It means that attachment is so strong. Mm -hmm. And we counsel our parents and tell them that once you accept this child is mm -hmm. special, mm -hmm. they should not live in denial. Mm -hmm. Because when they hide these children, when mm -hmm. they lock them in their houses, mm -hmm. it means they are still in denial stage. Okay. But once they accept, mm -hmm. they will bring out these children they will give them to professionals mm -hmm. teachers who have done special needs education okay. uh, the physiotherapists the social workers mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. and these children when that is done okay. they improve from day to day yeah I want to ask this on behalf of the children themselves yes. what do you think it takes to raise a physically you know, challenged child, mm -hmm. mentally challenged child, so that they can grow like other children and gain a sense of normalcy. Mm. Raising a mentally challenged uh, baby or a physically challenged baby is not easy, mm -hmm. but it takes patience, mm -hmm. it takes this big heart mm -hmm. to understand this child. Mm -hmm. it, takes, it takes the heart everything, every issue from the heart mm -hmm. to accept that this child is physical mm -hmm. so that you understand okay. just the way they feel and then moving on with this child mm -hmm. will not be a challenge to many. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you were to have an opportunity to speak to a donor, mm -hmm. somebody who would want to join you and help mm -hmm. you with what you're doing, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? I would say this so boldly because I know raising these children uh, it needs uh, someone who could come in and mm. support mm. so i could talk to this person who is out there mm -hmm. and feels like he would 
or she would love to come to Sweet Angels and support. Mm -hmm. That these challenges that we are facing, if we get someone who can help us mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. uh, in kind, in mm -hmm. any kind of donation, mm -hmm. it's so expensive purchasing their food. Mm -hmm. It's so expensive for the salaries of the, the, the staff. Yes. And so if someone could come in, Mm -hmm. that would be so highly appreciated. Okay. When I was having a chat with you earlier on, I noticed beadwork. Yeah. There were some necklaces there. Mm -hmm. I think bracelets there. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that project mm -hmm. as far as beadwork is concerned. At Switch Angels, we groom these learners to be independent mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. And when they come in, they go from stage to stage. Mm -hmm. They've gone from foundational stage, mm -hmm. gone through intermediate stage. Mm -hmm. And what you saw was a product of pre-vocational and vocational skills. Okay. Uh, they make necklaces. They make uh, key holders. Mm -hmm. They make everything, very beautiful things. Mm -hmm. And through these things, it's a support to them. When someone comes to the compound mm -hmm. and buys one, it supports. Mm -hmm. We go buy for them vegetables. We go buy for them milk okay. from their work. And mm -hmm. from this also, when mm -hmm. they go out from the sweet angels, mm -hmm. they live their own independent life. They can start a business mm -hmm. or something to keep them going. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's to hoping that you have been inspired by this story and uh, I hope this has made you to see your life from a different perspective. Until next time, it's goodbye from all of us.